Ben Wiedemann joins us now live from Jerusalem with more. So certainly rising tensions there. Ben, what is going on now? Well, we're getting reports, Patricia, as many as uh, four Israeli airstrikes uh, on Gaza uh, this evening. In the last few minutes, we're told that there are helicopters and planes over the skies of the, jo the Gaza Strip. There has been about three strikes in the Gaza City area, as well as another strike near the Jabalia refugee camp in the northern part of the Strip. This comes about an hour and a half after a missile made a direct hit on a house in Stuttgart which is a town near the Gaza Strip. Apparently, the family was already in a bomb shelter, so no, there were no uh, injuries, but the house was severely damaged, and the electricity in uh, Sterot uh, was completely cut off. Uh, so we have that rising tension down to the south. Here in Jerusalem, we saw all day long clashes in the Shafat uh, neighborhood north of the city, a very middle class uh, Palestinian neighborhood where uh, this boy, uh, Mohammed Abu Khader, uh, was reportedly abducted and his body, of course, was found in a forest early this morning, so mutilated and burnt that he was almost uh, beyond recognition. It was only through a DNA test. Uh, that they were able to ascertain his identity. Now, there are clashes ongoing now in several parts of Jerusalem. We're getting reports of um, a series of encounters between uh, Palestinian youth and Israeli uh, military and police. So certainly uh, it may be well past midnight here in Jerusalem, but the violence goes on. Patricia? It certainly does, Ben. There's so much anger on both sides. How do you stem this cycle of violence? I think a lot of people are asking that questions, but I don't see any proof anyone's come up uh, with the answer. We've heard the United States calling for restraint uh, from both sides, but it appears that uh, the level of emotions following, of course, the discovery day before uh, yesterday of the bodies of those three Israeli teenagers who were abducted in the West Bank on the 12th of June, and, of course, the discovery of this uh, the teenager, the Palestinian teenager's body outside of of Jerusalem. It is not uh, calming down in any uh, sense of the word. So it's hard to say what can be done at this point uh, to stop this spiral from going even further. Patricia.